I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to show you some evasive footwork for use in boxing or fighting. Breaking it down, there's two kinds of footwork. There's either linear footwork or circular footwork. So for example, if I'm moving my right foot, that means it's either going here, it's going away, okay, linear, all right, I'm going on a line, or it's pivoting, it's going around. It's a pivot, pivot, pivot. So that all forward movements either a line or a pivot. And you decide. So if I'm fighting my opponent, I can use a linear foot to go here, okay? Linear to go here, maybe to the side, okay? Maybe to the back a little bit, that's a little bit of a pivot, okay? So I can use a linear movement to get away, to get away. Yeah, I'll show you from behind. I'm going out here, I'm going back here, I'm going out at an angle, okay? Or I can escape with a pivot. Boom. I, there's only two ways to pivot. I think I'm going clockwise or I'm going counterclockwise. Uh, you will find which one is easier depending on the situation you're in and where your head and body is, which one is easier. Now, the real trick to evasive footwork is when you start to put the two together. So you can either go line and then pivot or pivot and then line. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say um, line, pivot, okay? Right here, line, pivot, okay? I can even go forward. Line, under, shoulder, pivot, and I'm out, okay? So line and then pivot, line, pivot, okay? Or uh, he's coming in, boom, and then pivot around him, put him in the corner, fire shots. That's line and then pivot. I can do it the other way around too. I can pivot and then line. Boom, pivot under him, and step away, okay? Or He's throwing a left hook, boom, pivot around him, I'm behind him, now I step away. Okay, so either I, I pivot here, I go away, or I pivot this way, and I go away. So, you keep working on the different combinations of those two, you'll come up with a lot of different variations. Now to make it even more fancy, more advanced, more slick, now you gotta change the level of your head, you gotta decide. So if I go in a line, am I pulling uh, my head up in a line? Well, my pulling it down in the line. Okay, so maybe I pull my head down in the line, pull it up with the pivot. Okay, or I pull my head up with the with the line, down with the pivot. So that way I'm going, my head's going up and down, and my body is going away and turning. Okay, uh, another way I can do it. Let's say um, you start a hook, boom, pivot under the hook, heads down, and step away with my head going tall to you know to be further away. Or let's say um, he's throwing a right hand, I slip outside his right hand, or I'm sorry, let's say I, uh, I step in inside his jab, and I'm very close to his right hand, put my head under him and pivot around, fire the counter shots. So that's all it is, do a line and then a pivot, or a pivot and then a line, and then you know, change the level of your head while you're pivoting or while you're uh, moving in a linear motion. I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing, subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my website, expertboxing.com for more great boxing tips. Thanks for watching.